en un ratito fue una cosa como que saber, como que fue una lluvia la que cayó en ese momento. Mira. Estábamos como asustados, como que algo de una vez vino a bajar todo. Para nosotros, pues, fue... Fue un golpe muy grande. We, we, we wanted to show, we wanted to kind of, we wanted to break a myth that, that I think exists that a lot of people think that many immigrants come to the U.S. because they, you know, they want to take advantage of the system, um, they want benefits, they, you know, they're, they're, they just, they want to, you know, live the American dream. And if, you know, I think when you see the film, you realize that a lot of people are coming to the U.S because of just dire need, basic necessities. Every year, 28,000 deportees arrive at that, they come through that same exit in Guatemala City Airport. It's just something, it's almost, it's almost like a rite of passage nowadays that people just go to the States. It's, there's, no other, there's no other option for making any money whatsoever in Guatemala. I think William's story does represent as well um, what happens when people are deported and, and you know, in many cases they are still in debt. In, in William's case, he was extremely in debt. Bajando los primeros pollos estaba cuando me va a decir el encargado, mírame si ahí viene la migración y ya no podemos hacer nada. Ya está rodeada toda la planta. Ya llegamos. Not only, not only are people coming back to debt, but they're coming back to, um, to sick families as well. Um, one of the main reasons why William left in the first place was to, to take care of his mom, who has cancer. Many people believe that um, if you take immigrants out of a town, um, that there will be more jobs for Americans, and, you know, the, con the economy will, will really prosper. But if you look at, at Postville, for, for example, what happened was, you know, um, it, it just, it, it completely destroyed the town. Well, what we want to do with this film really is we, we don't really want to preach to anybody. We want to just show what, what the economics behind a big raid are. So we're not saying, okay, well, raids are wrong. Um, these people were right to go to the States illegally. All we're saying is just when, when you debate, when politicians are debating the immigration debate, then this is also something they should take into consideration. It's something else, you know, if you're going to have the argument, okay, well, immigrants come here and they steal our jobs, and also, you need to also know why they went in the first place. You need to know the conditions they left. You need to know the conditions they're returning to. And you also need to know a bit about the economic impact on a town like Postville when you suddenly take away such a large part of its population. Cuando uno está aquí y dicen, tal Jolano se fue a Estados Unidos, dice uno, alegre, va, él se fue. Porque uno no ha pasado los sufrimientos que ellos están pasando, ¿verdad? Hasta que cuando uno agarre ese camino, entonces uno va a conocer y mira lo que ellos han pasado, ¿verdad? El sueño americano no es nomás y no es juguete. Eso es perder uno la vida.